Hello everybody, this is Phil from Geek Tax Computer Repair. Uh, in the last two videos I talked about how to download YouTube videos with one click of the mouse and I also talked about how to watch any video file using VLC Video Land Client or by downloading the K-Lite Mega Codec Pack. Uh, when I made that first video how to download YouTube videos with one click of the mouse. I got a tip from one of my viewers, uh, Video Guy NC, who says I recommend unplug for YouTube videos and download helper for most every other site using flash type video or audio players. So thank you, Video Guy NC, for that tip. Uh, since we already covered how to download YouTube videos, I'm going to skip over the first suggestion and we're just going to look at uh, download helper. So Download Helper will help you download just about any media file you can think of. Uh, let's go ahead and get started here. In Google, let's do a search for Download Helper for Firefox. And once again, the first link that pulls up is the most accurate link. Click on that and install the extension. Now I have already installed Video Download Helper so no need for me to go through this process but you of course would click the Install Now button and once you've installed Firefox will ask you to restart. I'm going to go ahead and click Cancel here. Now once you've downloaded Download Helper you're going to see a new icon up here next to your address bar and if we were to go to a media site such as YouTube what's going to happen here is a download helper is going to find the media that you are currently playing and it'll put a nice little link up here so you can download that video and whatever formats are available for you to download in. If it's been uploaded in high definition, you will also be able to download the high definition video. But the benefit of this add on is that you can download a video from any media content website. It doesn't just have to be YouTube. So let's just go ahead and do a search here for some media. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and do a search for somebody who's pretty popular these days, Obama. And we'll do a video search for Obama. Let's go ahead and look for a video on a website that I have never heard of before. And we'll go ahead and play this video. We'll go ahead and click on it and play it from the website. And uh, I'm going to pause the video. We don't need the noise going on in the background. Let's just go ahead and see if Download Helper has given us our link. And up here, if we click the little down tab, you can see that uh, you do have the option to download this video. So this add-on is really quite impressive. Um, you can download videos from almost any website that plays video uh, and it doesn't just have to be flash video. Um, if we were to go to the preferences here uh, for download helper and to do that we'll go to the tools and we'll scroll down till we get to download helper. I'm going to show you all the different formats that by default are available for you to uh, download media content. So you have AVI, you have FLV, you have MPEG, MPG, uh, Windows Media Video, uh, MOV, ASF, uh, you can download MP3s from websites, uh, you can download packaged files, DivX, you know, whatever you want. And we can even add something here. Let's say we wanted to download all the PDFs from a specific website. Go ahead and type in uh, PDF here. 
we'll add that as an extension and so if I was on a website with all PDFs I would be able to download whatever any or all of the PDFs there on that website so the add-on is uh, very powerful I mean you can do you can download you know pretty much everything from any website uh, not only that but it has a conversion uh, ability built into it so if I enabled conversion let's say I wanted to um, convert a file a flash video to maybe Windows Media Video uh, what I would need to do is first of all you saw how I uh, checked uh, conversion enabled. I would need to enable uh, the conversion here and then uh, go ahead and click on this button. I don't yet have the, the converter installed but I could install the converter and why don't I go ahead and walk through this process with you. We're gonna go ahead and click on download converter helper setup program. I'm gonna save the file and once the file has downloaded then go ahead and double click and open click next accept the agreement click next install next and we'll go ahead and finish now that the convert helper has installed, let's go back up to the add-on, download helper. We'll go to the preferences and we'll enable conversion. You can see that download helper has now recognized the converter has been found on the system. So we'll go ahead and click OK here and now let's go back and do another search for Obama we'll click on videos and let's go back to the very same website here go into the website and we'll go up here to download helper and see what it gives us in terms of options and you can see you have quite a few options here we can just download the video as an FLV file. Uh, quick download is something you establish when you configure the program uh, to just automatically download to a specific folder I suppose. We can download and convert and now that we have our converter installed we can convert this file to Windows Media Video whatever we want. We can tweet this video, copy the URL, we could add it to a blacklist if we don't ever want to download videos from this website again. Basically you would add something to your blacklist if it was in the form of a obnoxious advertisement. Uh, there's a lot of uh, you know advertisements that use flash video format and you can add it to your blacklist and never see that advertisement again. We can send the video to our mobile phone that's pretty cool and we can send it to uh, MP3 Tunes Locker. Of course, you have to have an account established at mp3tunes.com, and uh, you could send this specific video or audio file to MP3 Tunes. Let's go ahead and look at what we're trying to accomplish here, and that is to download and convert the video. So you can see that uh, we have uh, different converter options. We can uh, change this file to Windows Media Player uh, format. Uh, we could put it on our iPod. We could uh, put it uh, on another mobile format. We could convert it to Zune. Uh, whatever you want to do, you can convert it to basically any, any one of these. And you can convert it to your MP3. Uh, so you just get the sound on that, obviously. Uh, so the potential on this add-on is really powerful. I love the fact that I can download audio and video media and convert at the same time all in one simple Firefox add-on. This has been another Geek Tech's computer repair quick tip. I hope you found the video helpful.
and if so then please support future production of these videos by subscribing to the video rating the video and posting a comment on the video thank you all for watching and have a great day